Aren't you frustrated on how outdated the technology in your car is? And even if you had some cool technology in your car, aren't you afraid that one year from now, this technology will be completely outdated? And the only way to change that is to buy a new car? So it's not a surprise that companies like Apple and Google are trying to get their technology in some of the new cars. Although this may solve a small part of the problem, I want you to ask yourself this. What about more than one billion vehicles on the road right now? That's why we created Vinly. Vinly is a connected car platform that enables building applications and services on, for your car. It can make a car that's manufactured after 1996, which is almost every car on the road right now, smarter than a car that just left the assembly line. The Vinly platform uses this small device to connect and communicate with your car. So let me show you how it works for a consumer. It's actually pretty simple. The device plugs into your car under the dash. Don't worry, it's as easy as plugging a USB device into your computer. And then you can download the Vinly app catalog and start using apps right away. We already built a number of apps on the platform so consumers can actually use the Vinly from day one. We've built some apps for safety. So I'll start with Beagle. Beagle ensures that your teens are safe. It alerts you <laughs> if they drive recklessly, if they speed. It can even tell you if they skipped school. We also built you know, services like eCall, or automatic crash detection and reporting, similar to OnStar. And also an app like Lock and Key, which locates your car and alerts you if it was stolen. And we've built some apps to save you money, like Auto, which diagnoses your car and gets bids for you or insured, which could lower your insurance premium. And of course, we built some apps to make driving more fun, like Grace. This app logs a video of your trips and hundreds of readings and combines them all together in an interactive interface that you can share with your friends. And we have an app called Drive, which logs your trips, gives you great feedback, and make driving more social. We even have an app that connects your car to your home, and another app for Google Glass. And I can keep going on and on and other apps and services that are available in the making. All of that is available at a phenomenal price for $49.99 for our Vinly Basic device, which includes Bluetooth, and $149.99 for our Vinly Complete, which includes Bluetooth, LTE, GPS, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and advanced accident and crash detection capabilities. With Vinly, we also wanted to bring this consumer experience to the enterprise. Similar to the consumer, Vinly can buy Vinly devices, plug it into their fleet, and start using Vinly business applications. Applications like Fleet Tracker, which allows them to track and manage their fleet. They can even customize these applications down to their specific need. And that's only for $149. 99 per year that includes the device and the data plan but that's not it all the stuff that I talked about is great but wait until you hear this from this stage I'm excited to announce that Vinly is open for developers generally developers could not build an application for the connected car without considerable investment and even in the limited capacity where they can, they're usually siloed within a car manufacturer make and model. Well, not anymore. With Vinly, we're changing that. Now developers can build applications for the connected car because we simplified the complicated car to a simple API call. Our platform is extremely comprehensive. Starting from the hardware, developers can build their own devices and plug it into Vinly, Vinly's device using our backpack technology. Building a connected car application couldn't be more easy. Using our tool set that contains yeah, web APIs, SDKs for iOS, Android, Windows, developer kits to, to simulate the car, uh, community forums to help developers build their applications, they can even manage their applic application at a very granular level. You can create events, rules, get great analytics you know, on, on their application down to every single API call made and also see exactly how consumers and users using their app. And of course, they can actually view our you know, elegantly crafted uh, documentation. The main reason we wanted to open this platform for developers is because the connected car market is huge. 
It is a $131 billion industry, and it's growing at a rapid pace. And we wanted to enable developers to get a huge piece of this market. We are developers, and we love developers. So if we win TechCrunch Disrupt, we're going to use the $50,000 towards buying a Tesla, which will be the grand prize for our Vinley Developer Challenge. Yep. There you go. Vinley yep. is the first true technology platform for the car. If you're a consumer, go to Vinley.com and pre-order your device now. If you pre-order, you're going to get all Vinley applications for free. And if you're a developer, go to developer.vinley.com and sign up and start building your app right now before the device ships to consumer. And if you're a business, get in touch. We want to take your fleet to the next level. Thank you. All right. Um, I'd love to learn a bit more about you and the rest of the founding team. Just tell us a little bit about your background and yeah. why you feel that you can really disrupt this space. Yeah, just a little bit about, about my background. Just I uh, started my first company at age 17 um, to pay my tuition. And um, first company was just basically technology innovation and product development for company back in Lebanon. Uh, before I came here to the U.S. I came here to the U.S. Um, for my master's degree, worked a few projects you know, for the U.S. military, worked uh, on a couple of projects for uh, Michigan and Ohio Transportation Center for uh, vehicle to infrastructure, as part of their vehicle to infrastructure initiative. And more recently started a company called Dialexa, which was um, it's a technology innovation and product development company. It's a global company with multiple offices. Um, and more recently, in, in part, as part of Dialexa, we started an incubator called Dialexa Labs. And the whole premise of Dialexa Labs is to take concept of problems that we identify and take it into a product in the market and spin it off as its own company. Vinley is one of these you know, concepts. Um, why do I think this is disruptive? For a few things, um, I don't think automakers are going to keep up with technology. We're gonna, we've been waiting for them for a long time to actually do something half decent in their cars. They're not going to do that. Um, and also, at the same time, we wanted to create something that cross-platform works on all cars and enable developers to build an app that can work on all vehicles. Um, so that's why, and, and the cars in general are the second largest expense, you know, for, for any person. The consumers spend a lot of time in their vehicles and usually technology is always an afterthought and especially also developers. They've always been an afterthought for everybody, for technology companies who put the, the systems in the car and for, you know, automakers. And that's why we're trying to open it up and create that ecosystem for everybody. So um, uh, I was trying to figure out from the video, is it an existing port that you're plugging into? Yes. Every car that's many, all gasoline-based cars after 1996, they have an OBD port. Uh, it's the same port that your mechanic uses um, to diagnose your car when you take your car there. Um, so in the United States, there are around 230 million vehicles that has the, this port. Around the world, there are around 700 million vehicles uh, that actually have that, that port in them. Right. And then the, the second question is, What's the go-to market? Like, how do you get this device in the hands of consumers? What's the distribution channel, you mean, yeah. or all of that? So we're working on a lot of distribution channels, ranging from the telecom companies, who actually have really vested interest to, to, have, you know, to sell Vinley, because they can't get their data into aftermarket vehicles. So that's one distribution channel we're really working on uh, heavily. Uh, insurance companies, uh, they have you know, vested interest in that as well. So we're coordinating with a you know, um, uh, couple of them. Um, um, auto service shops, uh, car dealerships uh, working on them, and of course the usual suspects like you know Amazon, um, Best Buy, you know, Apple Store, and all of that. So. so we're targeting all these distribution channels right now. Um, so when I heard you guys, I, I didn't know where you were going to end up in terms of target market, and ended up you ended up saying you're going to go after everybody and everything. So consumers, enterprise, like mm -hmm. developers, you know you can't do all that at once, mm -hmm. and you're going to have to focus. Like, mm -hmm. how do you, what do you guys focus on first? What do you have to own and crush first out of the gate of those areas? Well, at, at the beginning, I mean, we're definitely targeting, in terms of consumers, we're targeting early adopters. That's why we specifically chose TechCrunch to launch, uh, because I think a lot of tech community in here, and so we wanted to get some adoption there in the consumers. Enterprise, definitely, I mean, we have a lot of pilots lining up, uh, including governments as well. Uh, but definitely our focus, what makes Vinley very different, is the consumer. And in order to get the, you know, in order to make a better consumer experience, 
you need to actually open it for developers. So what we were trying to do, we did not want this chicken and egg problem to go in, wait for developers to sign up. So we created apps without waiting for developers to start the market. We're focusing on the consumers, right? And in the meantime, we, we're going to kick off our developer evangelism program, which is going to be around the country, um, and start you know, evangelizing and building an application. So we're trying to handle this, like, you know, this intricate uh, mix between consumers and developers at the same time, because that's what makes Vinly different, right? One last thing, and, the, and when you look at what we're able to do with our smartphones today, mm -hmm. I would have loved to have seen more of a comparison. I kept thinking, well, my phone does that. My phone does yep. that. More of a comparison between like what we, you know, the e we all have smartphones, most of us do, and, mm -hmm. and you know, certainly in the early adopter world, and like comparing what you can do with your tech and your hardware mm -hmm. versus the phone. Tech. Yep. No, I mean, give you a simple example. I mean, just just the first you know, use case I did, like teen safety application, right? If you have a parent, your teens are not gonna open their phone so you can track them, right? The device can actually track them, send the alerts. Um, diagnostics, right? You're not gonna be able to do that through, through, through your phone. Um, also, actually creating um, an actual uh, driver behavioral analysis, how they're driving a car, how they're doing a hard stop, how they're doing the RPMs, how they're doing their turns. You cannot, you're not gonna be able to do that. But most importantly, is that usually you cannot do it because if you want to do it with your phone, you're going to need an actual app to be open at the same time in order to do all that stuff. What we wanted to do with Vinly, this works in complete background without you actually worrying about anything. And then what happened, it feeds in into these applications later on. So that's also an, another advantage to it. Um, so. so your company depends on being able to ship your dongle. What are your... Uh, manufacturing and distribution plans. Yeah, absolutely. So we actually, um, I don't know if you heard of Dragon Innovation. Mm -hmm. So our product is Dragon certified. Um, and we're already working on, um, you know, with few, uh, on RFQ with manufacturing in China. Um, and also at the same time, for developers, we wanted to get these development kits and devices to them. So we're actually working with few manufacturers here in the United States in order to create these small badges of, you know, couple of thousand devices to get it to the de developers as soon as possible. So, yeah. so, fortunately, we're out of time. You guys did a great job. It's Vin Thank you. Thank you very much.